So the World Cup has officially ended. It was an amazing experience. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was very entertaining for sure. We had some great games, some great uh, comebacks, uh, a lot of good stuff. And I'm going to briefly go over all of that. And um, yeah, uh, I also have some major issues with the current system. Um, and I feel like if you've seen the World Cup, you know, you probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, there were some like major flaws with the settings of the tournament, but we will leave that for another video. In this one, I want to focus on what was, in my opinion, very good and just briefly go over the matches and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, also, I want to touch on my predictions. Um, it didn't go that well. <laughs> it, it actually went pretty poorly. Uh, so, as you as you probably know if you've seen my video i predicted rc uh, that rc would win the whole thing that did not happen uh, and blinky ended up winning the whole tournament which was very um wasn't really a surprise at all and it was very deserved he played phenomenally um and in my opinion the finals even though they were very entertaining they were very very fun to watch uh, i feel like it should have been 3-0 Realistically, uh, it was kind of a merchant from MK, those two games. Um, but yeah, still a game, uh, still a great, still a great uh, match in the end. Anyways, um, so yeah, uh, my predictions were that Blinky would win this one, so I at least got that right here. Uh, again, I feel like Fao did merchant RC in that final NPC game, but. Um, as I said, I will not be talking about that in this video. We will leave that for another time. So yeah, uh, Fao won this one. I did not think that would be the case. Um, here to Botic Orlando. Yeah, this was the this was the funniest uh, thing ever. And uh, yeah, I, I just I was just waiting. I was just watching uh, the actual match and waiting for someone to comment. Uh, how Orlando ended up winning and uh, yeah it was kind of funny it kind of became a meme uh, but yeah I mean fair enough uh, I did kind of underestimate Orlando in the group stage and then in the knockout stage prediction I was kind of memeing that's why I didn't really uh, put him to go through but he ended up putting a very very good show he very uh, he performed very well he played uh, phenomenally i also have to say he did get a bit uh, he did get somewhat lucky especially in that uh, no move game against apotic on that uh, last round where the where the round limit ended the game there were some lucky moments but overall i feel like he did deserve the semi-final spot he did play uh, very well and that bangladesh round was uh, that was uh, that was a masterpiece in my opinion anyways um yeah orlando he he came actually very close to uh going all the way to the finals uh which i was hoping he wouldn't actually not because i wanted him to lose but i knew that someone would uh come in the comments and write something like uh i told you which again is it, it's fair it's fair uh it was kind of a meme it was funny so yeah he did end up losing to MK 3 to 2. Uh, again, not something that I thought would happen. I really thought Topotic would go through. And this match, MK versus Kratzo, so again, uh, I did predict, I did say that it'll be a crazy one. I think I did predict 3 to 2 for MK in this one. It was a crazy match. It was a, like, I think this was probably my, uh, my favorite match of the whole tournament. Even though it was a lot of merchanting, um, it was still a phenomenal, a phenomenal experience. Kinda, kinda like a similar, similar thing to the grand finals. But um, yeah, a lot of those reverse sweeps, or like it, it came close to a reverse sweep, and it had a lot of NMPZ games. And uh, yeah, that was that was really, really nice to see those NMPZ games. Uh, then Blinky Fow, I mean. Yeah, Blinky 3 to 0, not really unexpected there. MK 3 to 2 to Orlando. This one was again uh, pretty close and uh, a good game. And yeah, Blinky versus MK. This one in the finals kind of felt scripted, honestly. 
uh, with the locations. Yeah, like especially those two last locations, the fact that we got uh, like I think it was Pennsylvania round and then like uh, around with the French flags. Uh, yeah, <laughs> kind of kind of silly in my opinion, but who knows, maybe, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if they choose locations or if it's random, I, I really don't know. Um, anyways, it was a really, uh, really fun game to watch. Uh, but in my opinion, it should have been a 3-0. Uh, but uh, yeah, as I said, there were some flaws with the, with the system, uh, with the settings of the tournament that I will mention in the next video. Um, but yeah, for now, that's it. Uh, as I said, <laughs> I don't have anything against Orlando. Uh, he's a great guy. He seemed like a great guy. Uh, he played very well, but I just didn't think he would go through the group. And I, I didn't think he would get this far. But um, yeah, he proved me wrong. So yeah, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next time.